And then the first solo comes in. I've always loved this solo. It's so melodic, man. A minute 16. We're going to go uh, 14 on the G, pull to 12. Let it rest, and then 11 G rest. Do that twice. So. And then pull off the 14 to 12 again. But throw a 14 D on the end this time, and do that twice. And then 14 pull to 12 in the G. And then Slash, he's notorious for these, I love it. It's a pre-bend release on the 14th fret G string, whole step. So you gotta, you gotta know the note by feel. And I, I was too high. So that's the note, the B note. You hit it and drop it. And then 12G, 14G bend. So 15B. So an experiment with fingering again. I wouldn't be surprised if Slash isn't going. All right, and then 15B bend release. 14D bend. Pull this one down. So you don't want to go up. I'd boy that might slip off the neck. So. Oops. Put a finger behind it too, Ray. That'll uh, secure that bend because it, the D string's slinky, man. I mean, it's it's coiled and it's it's going to take more um, strength on this D string than it would on a on a skinny B string or E string. And that's it for that solo. Series of repeats comes in, um, section 2A at 1 minute 32 seconds. Replace the very first chord, which I notated with star, with just this. And this is clean channel. This is the D major using the F form. Everything else is the same. The next new part coming up to section 4, 2 minutes 18 seconds in. And um, open A, barred 2nd fret D, G, and B. Just an A major chord. Strum, break, strum, ring. In other words... Okay. And then a bass note walk up, open A, 2 D, or open A, 2 A, so it's. And then it's a C major chord, 3 A, and then barred fifth fret on the D, G, and B. I like to bar it. Some people use uh, three fingers. I like to bar that stuff. Pinky or third, whatever you like. Strum, break, strum, ring out. A D major, 2E, 3B, 2G, open D, and you can hear the open A in it as well. And then I love this. He goes... Two on the high E, half step, bend release. To 3B. 2G, pull off to open. 4D, pull off to open. To an open A. Just so melodic. Beautiful. It's an arpeggio. It's a D major arpeggio over that D chord. So, so check it out. We got. And then you play the rhythm again. But this time, when you go to the D major, strum it from the D string down, and then the D, G, and B string is going to be palm muted. Um, 11, 12, 13 times. Here's what it is though. You probably won't have to count it, hopefully, but it's... Um, you'll palm mute the first seven or so, but just, it's dynamics, Ray, so you're gonna hit the chord without palm muting and then dun 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 it, it intensifies, right? So... Do a low E string slide off. Um, second solo, and this is really cool too. 17th fret high E bend vibrato, 2 minutes 34 seconds in, and then go 15, 14 on the high E, and then let it ring, then hammer 15, pull 14, slide 12. It's got that legato sound, so vibrato, then go back to 15, 14. And then hammer again, 15, pull to 14, slide to 11 this time. So you have... Oops. 12, 14 on the E, it's real punchy. And 
And then some more pre-bend releases and I love it. 15 on the B, bend it a whole step, that's two frets, pick and release. If you have to check it, Ray, just go two frets higher. That's a note you should be hearing in your ear. Release to 12 uh, on the B. And then the same concept here, but it's 14 on the G. Whole step pre-bend release. So, so we have 12G and then 11 hammer 12 on the G, 14D vibrato. So we have. And then he rushes this part. It's so cool, man. It's like, it almost seems like the timing's off, but it's not. He makes it work. Two minutes, 42 seconds in, it's. It's 14D, 11, 12G, 13B. I would try to land that 13B with the middle finger, but that's me. Actually, you're going to need to anyways. You'll see why. Then 12B. So. And then hammer 13. Pull 12. Slide 10. So. And then 13B. Middle finger. Bend. And then 13, 12, 12 vibrato. Um, neck pickup, by the way, for all this. 12B. Half step, that's a one fret bend release to 14G. 15 high E, bend hold release vibrato. Make sure you get a whole step there. There's our note, right? So. B um, you're gonna go half step bend release and I need to notate it because I I didn't and I don't want you thinking it's a whole step all right um from there 9g twice vibrato so you're gonna do that I think twice we have then this 8g half step bend don't bend release, just bend, stop it with a pick, come back, pick um, 8G vibrato, rest, hammer to 11 vibrato. Sounds like this. Oops. And you can land with your third if you want. That's even better. Eleven G half step bend release to nine. And then on the D string, half step bend the nine, then go nine ten. So it's um, seven G slide to nine vibrato, and then two minutes fifty eight seconds in, half step bend release on the eleven G, nine G, eight G half step bend, eight vibrato, slide to nine. 9G bend, so it's, you'll see parentheses around the ninth fret on the G with the vibrato, that's because he punched in another guitar track, so that parenthesis note is actually ringing out as he starts his next part. I didn't play this in the playthrough, um, but you're going to love it man, the riff is, is just smoking. Um, it goes. Dang it. Dang it. You're going to palm mute 8 9 on the G and alternate pick that and follow the fingering here in your tabs. It's middle and third. 7B, hammer 8, pull 7, and then go 9G to 7B. So it's 10B slide to 12, and then go 8E back to 12B. Definitely watch your picking in this stuff because he's shredding in here. And he ain't done. 
this is really cool too. You will go, first finger, 11E, start with an upstroke, and you'll go alternate pick from that point. 11E, 1213B, 1112E. Slide to 14. So that gives you. And keep going from there. 16B, 12E. So it's. That's just a killer pattern. I gotta tell you, I've never used that exact phrase before. Okay, from there, he's also got the Wawa pedal. My Wawa is not working, man. I actually need to get another one. I can't fix it. So from there, um, there's another cool little phrase happening. 14 on the high E. Hammer 15. And then go 17B. And then the high E, 14, 15, 14. And then 17, 15 on the B. And that's alternate picked. So, so we went. Oops. And then we gotta go to the top of page five. Um, you're gonna go 14 on the high E. Go 14 and 11. do something here with the fingering like you'll see uh, um, the 12th fret on that downstroke third note over on page five at the top I have the uh, the middle finger there you can do that or you can get your index there because check it out the next phrase you're gonna do the 14 E pull to 12 and then 15 B so we got to get further up the neck right so so, 15B, 12E, 15B, bend, release, pull off to 12. <laughs> 15B, bend, hold, again, with a vibrato, so it's... 15B, bend, release, pull to 12, to 14G. And they'll see, you'll see double dots, that's twice, it's... Um, hold on here. Um, and then after that second time through, 12th fret high E, use your index or middle, I know it's going to feel weird, but uh, you're going to bend, again with the vibrato, and then again, but grab the, if you can, this is hard to do man, it's kind of a growl sound that a lot of blues players use, and metal, um, 12 EB bend, it's not like super in your face, but Oops, maybe middle and index. And then 12E again. Hold it, then go 13E. So it's, it's like a Neil Sean thing. And then 12E, bend. And then bend, release, pull off to 10. And then 10 hammer, 12 vibrato. 3 minutes 15 seconds in, 15B, bend, 12E, 15, 12B. Pre-bend half step release on the 14G, so 
that's our note. And release, pull off to 12. 14G, bend release, pull to 12, it's a whole step. 14 vibrato, 12, 14 bend, and then 12, 14, 12, 14. But bend the secondary 14. Love this part. 14G bend, it's a hold as you play the 15B. And then do it again, but the 15 will be on the high E this time, and you do that twice. And then another one, 14G bend to 15B. 14G bend release pull to 12. Um, then go 14 pull 12G. Palm mute 14D down up. So it's. Alright, um, you'll go 12G half step bend. And then 14D pull 12, 14 vibrato. So it's. Palm mute 14D down up alternate pick. And then 12. Hammer 14, pull 12 on the G to 14D. That part is double dots as well, and you'll repeat it. So let me play it a little slower two times. All right, that's your second time. He's going tempo ray is about like. Love this part. Um. It's 12 down up on the G, and then 14 pull 12 on the D. Down up, down pull.